Hello my beautiful Soul Tribe Collective. Um, we're back with another reading with not a channeled message but it's just this reading of, is about this energy that I'm really picking up on and it's like this lingering energy that's simmering and it's kind of in the background. It's in the background of your being as you're going about your day to day or uh, maybe at night time or just as you're I don't know, it's like there's something you can't quite put your finger on that's just making you feel, maybe you can't figure out why. It's like for some of you, it's like, I don't know, it's just this feeling that's a bit, it's like energy coming up to be released, that's what it is. And now throughout this reading, we're going to lay out where the root is coming from because this energy can feel like it's kind of come out of nowhere or you can't really quite put your finger on it. You could just be feeling like it's the type of vibe I'm getting, which is funny, actually, because normally I have a light up behind me and it's just decided to not work. And when I don't have that light on, it makes me feel kind of like, ew, kind of like cold or a bit like dark or dingy do you know what i mean when it's winter and it's cold outside as well you know that feeling you can get when it's dark all the time and you just feel a bit meh you know <clears throat> there's like this lingering energy in the background and as i dive deeper into it it might vary for a few of you but uh the strongest timeline i'm picking up on is this energy of kind of finding beauty within pain or kind of on the either at the beginning of, so it's like you're rising to redemption, rising from the flames. It's like you're finding beauty within pain, you're accepting a situation or you're making, you're letting go of the past or you're kind of, um, it's like you can't quite put your finger on it, but there's this energy that, It's kind of like a bittersweet accepted-ness towards a situation or a person. It's kind of almost as if you've made peace with something, even if you didn't want to make peace with it. Or it's almost as if, if you've been through some deeper processing recently, within the past few weeks, if you've had some heavier emotions arise or you've had some heavier moments, it really feels like the ten of swords out of that like it feels like the this is what i mean when it's hard to explain it's not a full form flowing energy it's the end of an energy so if you felt kind of like bittersweet or kind of you've been doing a lot of processing about something the past few weeks could have been very up and down or roller coaster or you're you're uh, kind of been thinking or planning or really zoomed out in a very reflective mode. It feels like whatever reflection or energy you were put in, it's kind of like the afterwards, you're coming out of that now. And so there is this lingering of stillness or silence or can't quite put your finger on it, but it's a bit bittersweet because there's so much to look forward to. It's like a really pivotal point it's like looking at the past and being very nostalgic but in like a happy but bittersweet way of acceptance and then kind of turning towards the future and choosing to step forward but maybe it's like this bittersweetness or this lingering is kind of like this energy lingering of being part of yourself wanting something or part of yourself holding on to something that the other half of yourself has accepted to go in a new direction or something um you know it could just be you reflecting back on your journey to this point and being very nostalgic or kind of reflective or reminiscent um and 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 then turning and looking at your future and then envisioning what's to come next like it's a very quiet before the storm moment it's like the you know when someone's looking over the cliffs, I'm getting that three of wands card in my head. It's like, what's to come? Looking towards the future, building hope for the future, um, gaining strength and hope for the future. And also, it's like when someone's waiting for a battle. <laughs> I know I've said this before, but it's kind of like the, the night before a battle, right? Someone stood on the cliff looking across the ocean and it's that reflective energy. They, they're thinking acceptance like they're walking into their fate their destiny they don't know how it's going to turn out but they're gonna 
they are taking this moment to reflect to themselves just between them and universe it's like a reflection between you and yourself that isn't even fully formed words it's not like fully formed thoughts within your head what i'm picking up on it's like a feeling it's a feeling it's a feeling of going like this like i don't even know how to explain it to you guys hopefully if you've resonated so far we can lay this out better with the cards i have already shuffled and we'll get into the bottom deck energies and things like that in a second um this tarot deck is what i'm using the druid craft tarot deck it's a very beautiful deck um but yeah it's it's very much a, a deeper emotional feeling and it's like, let me lay out the parts of this energy. There is courage, there is fight, there is optimism, there's also some sadness. It's like the same as if someone's looking over the cliffs, right? It's like they're reflecting on all the people that have been sacrificed or lost within this journey, but then also that builds them strength and courage and more determination to fight for the future and to walk in with courage. Like, beauty within the pain, this is what this feeling is. It's the it's life as a whole, the yin and the yang, the bitter with the sweet, the uh, tragedy with the love, like, I hope I can describe that right for you guys, but yeah, bottom deck energy we've got going on is, I'm gonna just cover the people, because they're naked, but they, we've got this, this couple lying down here together, this is the, the devil card, this is, and the devil card kind of is supposed to resemble the lovers, but in the opposite way it can feel like we're bound to things um there could be things that you felt tied to that now you're walking away from but there's like this lingering or this could be you rising up and out from the shadows meaning i'm picking up two timelines so hopefully you know when you resonate with you know which ones are for you um but for some of you this is kind of like you rising up and seeing clearly uh, maybe what was holding you back in the past or maybe rising up and seeing clearly you're facing like there's this fight to face your own shadow like it's not even a fight to face your own shadows it's like the overcoming of it like you've overcome it already do you know what I mean or uh, something like that but with these energy here can you see what I mean about lingering in the in the background there's something lingering in the background that's what this energy feels like like something big is culminating for some reason something big is culminating could be to do with um a relationship could be to do with your own journey and because this devil is uh this devil card energy is for the two timelines one of them uh it's for a kind of situation that you've had to uprise and overcome and for some of you this this devil energy is more of an internal journey of you rising up and out of the shadows um in the battle of our own minds right beauty within the pain and there's this big culmination happening that's going to change it and and you i don't think you it's like you're aware the same as the guy looking over the cliff he's aware there's a battle coming you're aware there's something big coming but you don't know exactly how it's gonna go you don't know exactly how it's gonna be but all you need is the courage to know that Hmm, yeah, all you need is the courage and the strength to walk into that. And that's what you have. Um, it's not it's not a choice. It's like throughout this journey, you've been carried by spirit in divine time. And you've been on a beautiful journey of overcoming. And now is your time to rise from the ashes. So something big's culminating, coming up, lingering in the background. Um, beneath the devil card, we did have the nine of swords. So like this could have been a very challenging journey. I get that this isn't you right now, that this has been you in, in the past, that there's been a lot of back and forth or mental kind of, yeah, there's been mental obstacles. There's been karma, karmatic mental cycles that you guys have arisen from and overcome that presented challenge, that presented uh, a battle. And through that, you gained strength. Through that, you gained rising up and overcoming uh, from your own doubts, your own demons, or your own self-talk and things like that. But for some of you, again, this is you being put into a situation that really challenged you, 
maybe you l lose sleep about it or maybe it's something to do with communication as well again this could be with a relationship uh, or a connection or just a situation on your outside that caused and and this isn't me saying this i'm getting i'm hearing spirit in my head say mental anguish which is a very interesting way to put it mental anguish and i'm also seeing on my floor now form a a kind of melting skull so yeah no this isn't me being really negative at you guys it, like this is the journey you've already been through we all face these types of journeys and and what's really beautiful and what matters is that you're coming out of that now you have you know as everyone gets faced their own battles their own journeys their own stories just like if you were in a film and you're like the knight or the prince or the princess or the queen or the the hero of a film right the hero always has that kind of period where they're rising that's what you're in you're in this hero period of rising up you know when so this energy for say spider-man <laughs> maybe some of you like films or into like marvel or something um so for for like spider-man let's say in school, this would have been his moment when everyone's being horrible to him, when everyone's teasing him, when he doesn't understand why why things are happening, why life is like this, or uh, he doesn't understand, do you know what I mean? Because it's he can't, because it's not come clear yet, because he's not reached that part of the story. And this is what's happening to you, is that you're culminating to reach your rising, your peak, your point where you are going to do and overcome like the phoenix you will walk through the flames you will release burdens you'll be working hard but um this is like you dropping the weights you dropping those restrictions um it could have felt like this situation has been weighing heavy or it's been almost like a mental weight for you when i said mental anguish i feel like it was more as well mental fatigue like there's been a lot to think about within something or a lot of planning you've been doing or a lot of healing or processing and it's like yeah this this situation this connection or um whatever journey that spirit put you in whatever energy they put you in to travel with uh put upon you to travel with um it, it did weigh heavy at points um it was tiring through this journey that we're talking about right there was definitely battles that you've had to face definitely people's opinions people's judgments like people or situations just coming uh backfold is what i'm hearing like coming uh one after the other yeah they're queued up it's like one thing happens then another thing happened and this doesn't have to be recently it could just be um this energy that you're coming up from now so if you see what i'm saying you guys you've been through this journey and at the start it's like you've been through all of the stages within that hero cycle and you're getting to the point where you're becoming spider-man you're becoming <laughs> you're becoming you're you're starting to see the positive light the yin uh the yang aspect of this journey because every journey is like a preparation right if spider-man again sorry if you haven't seen it but if he hadn't been through all of that he wouldn't even know who to trust in the future he wouldn't know he wouldn't be the way that he was to hold his power right like because he was like kind of bullied and stuff or people didn't really agree with him um or you know didn't really see his value or just kind of belittled him um he actually became the hero because he had a heightened sensitivity then he had a heightened awareness he would never treat anybody like how those people treat him because he knows how it feels to be treated that way so it's kind of like throughout this journey you've it's like the preparation stage you've become the perfect container and now you're stepping into a culmination that is going to bring you some form of legacy for some of you this is a long-term relationship um for some of you, this is like a new home or a new start to a work or business passion um, or a hobby, you know, it's something that's going to bring you a lot of uh, abundance in because sometimes you guys, you could have been feeling a bit stagnant or a bit in the same old, same old look, or if you weren't, it's just that you were feeling like you wanted some kind of change. Maybe you wanted some kind of change or you felt like you got to as far as you could go with something. This could even be... Uh, a relationship or if this is a relationship there could have been money involved or 
houses or legacies of some kind, right? There's some, there could be something about family, legacies, kind of taking care. You guys could be very much caretakers. Or there could have been someone you were taking care of. It's like there's a rebirth now. Things are kind of changing within this old cycle, this old routine or this old schedule or the way that your life looked. Say you got so used to just being single or you were, and you started to just feel like, you know what, I actually want a relationship. Or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe you guys were in a relationship for a long time and, you know, a long time coming and it started getting like... I don't know, you can see his face, you guys. Maybe you decided the opposite, right? Maybe for some of you, this is like, work-wise, you've been in a job for so long um, and you're finally deciding, actually, I feel like I actually wanna do something new. Um, whatever it is, it feels like this stage where you're in, your circumstance now, your routine now, the things that are going on around you now, it feels like you feel, so only take this if it resonates, but it feels like you feel like, You've got as far as you can go where you are at or where or with the people you're around or with the situations you're in and it's time to kind of rebirth and you're rebirthing and you're starting new this is the judgment card as well so you're taking a lot of judgment on things and there has been a lot of judgment taken not only by you but by universe as well because there's been choices and changes you've made but ultimately there's been some things you can't control that have had to end or there's some been some things and situations you can't control that have had resistance created within them because this is universe's way of telling you uh, of showing you the next new direction so resistance can look like many things if you're in a job resistance can look like um like we were saying earlier one after the other something one after the other things kind of going wrong right or if this is a friendship you may find like loads of problems come up within this connection or things kind of start going really wrong resistance is kind of difficult energy it puts blocks in things it makes things feel uncomfortable to be in or be around there's like resistance been placed in certain areas of your life that spirit was now uh, kind of shifting your direction away from the resistance into what does feel good so there's like a big kind of changing going on for some of you this is a, a connection for some of you this is you uh, again shifting into that new direction completely leaving behind all of your life as it was up to this point and this could to you feel it could feel like you're doing that even if you're on the outside it looks different because you've had so much mental shifts of changing in your mind how you see your future right almost as if it's scripted out and you've taken it ripped the pages out and you've rewrote it so even though it's yet to be played out because you've rewrote it it's gonna look in your mind it feels like the future's looking completely different um again there could have been some pain throughout this journey because you have been releasing a lot because you're saying goodbye to the old you've, you've you're saying goodbye to an old version of yourself you're saying and, and and not old in a bad way but old in like a past form it's kind of like a past life this is the energy i was talking about at the start it's like this past life lifetimes within lifetimes and it's like so beautiful because you can look and see uh, all of the magic that happened all the memories you made all of the beauty that was created everything you experienced and hold that with love and look at that with love and uh, just awe that you got to experience those things that life is so short and you've had all of these crazy emotions all these ups these downs throughout this journey or this connection or this lifetime and it's like now is the time to sadly but peacefully respectfully and with pride and courage and um completion this feeling of completion this is what you're culminating to it's this feeling of pure beautiful completion um of finding beauty within the pain and walking into that new chapter so you're looking around that room and you're about to close that door and you you get a few things catch your eye you're like oh i remember that oh i remember that so you can't go back to these times in the past there's like this very nostalgic thinking of memories it's like if we can't go back in the past but they always live within your mind your mind is a scrapbook of all of the things that have happened and you will forever keep those you know you'll forever keep the important memories the ones that 
um, felt good and, and the, maybe the ones that weren't, but the ones that weren't, they're always there for a reason too, those bad memories. So when you can look around you when you're in a really good place and uh, maybe one of those bad memories will come in and it's like a measure to see wow you came all the way from there like imagine how you were feeling in that period and, and one of those bad memories it's like you came all the way from there to here and it's like crazy how quick and like how much life can change sometimes and even suddenly and sometimes you can feel like you're going through life and things aren't changing for a while and then like that and, and it feels like it'd be like weird for something to drastically change or it feels like life sometimes feels like it slowly but surely changes you know step by step but sometimes there's these changes that happen very quickly very suddenly and sometimes they're good and sometimes they can be perceived as bad but later on in years time in the future we perceive them as good but either way it's kind of crazy because they all led you to here and they all lead you to a place so it's kind of like, yeah, all of those times brought you to here and that's how far you've come and that's how far you're going to go again and again and again and again. But there's no rush because you only get one life. Um, you get many lifetimes, but you get one life as you, as this person who you are now, as the people who are around you as they are now, you know, as the world as we know it as it is now in this time that we're incarnated in. Um, with the family that you are with when you're incarnated or the friends that you're around like we said um, it's like yeah time is infinite you you have many lifetimes but each one is so unique each one is so different different and specific and that's what's beautiful about it and that's why it should be savored because at the end of the day time is the only thing that makes life be savored by us if time wasn't a thing we would never feel any need to do anything and sometimes we we do that anyway because we kind of forget that that's a thing like when we're just going along our lives or our days it feels like we're here forever like flashback to when you were in school or when you started something that was long term and you thought oh this is going to be for a long time but then eventually it all comes to an end. Like when I started school, I was like, wow, this is just, might as well just sit back, like gonna be here forever. And then all of a sudden there comes a time when you're not there anymore and you're like, whoa. And it's normally those times that make you realize, wow, life is very short, but it's short all the time. It's just sometimes, yeah, and I'm not ranting at you guys. This is just a channel of bubbling thought message that's coming through. But it's like, yeah, it is really short and uh, it feels like you're coming up to a moment in time where that's how you're feeling and that's the kind of energy I was trying to explain at the start and maybe that's why it was hard to describe because it's a, ver a very deep emotion, it's a very deep thing um, but there's also a lot of pride that's coming through, a lot of, yeah, pride, proudness for yourself, proudness for your journey, like we said, like how you've gone through all of these things and got all the way here and it's like you're going to do that again but life's crazy sometimes. That's crazy because sometimes we don't zoom out to really think about it but honestly it is and yeah you're entering a really really brand new bright beginning with the ace of wands here this is like a real passion for a new direction this is like a real discovery and it's kind of i'm hearing best of both worlds this is going to be something you will feel so passionate about it will be work but it will be play it will be rejuvenating but it will also be inspiring and motivating you know because the moon is out in this picture with the sun and yeah the moon's small but it's still out you guys and it's like nature animals it's like there's such a balance going on within this ace of wands even though it's one whole and it's like you guys you're finding the balance within one wholeness and you might have periods or points in time recently where you're feeling life all at once and that's why it's a lot to unpack where it's just lingering in the background this kind of weird feeling lingering it's because it's a lot to unpack because it's everything all at once throughout our journeys we we feel things within separation we feel the bad then we feel the good like in spider-man at the start he was only in the bad so he could only really feel that because that's all he knew and then when he got to be spider-man he was only feeling the good right because that's like everything uh it's all at once it's so it's so in thrilling he's he, it's so new to him when it's all new he's feeling all that good all at once but then they get to a certain point in the film you know there's a certain point in your journey where you feel those sides both together to see how they brought you to where you are today and that's really beautiful and that's what you're coming into and it's creating a lot of passion inspiration motivation it's creating a lot of creative energy as well 
or a lot of energy to connect with yourself to feel at one with say nature or universe to just kind of look up into the sky and give them a little smile and be like thank you universe for leading me here like you made it through because the way is it's unclear uh, and when we finally can see the pieces click together universe and your spirit team will sit there as well and be like yes like we can finally let you know like when they can finally give you the connections to why things happen that's like a big deal for them because it's kind of like keeping a secret, keeping a secret or keeping a present, a secret that you've bought for someone before Christmas. That's how they feel with you guys sometimes, uh, a lot of the time, uh, for all of the blessings that are to come because when we do feel the separation, we have to feel it in separation because they create each other. So when we're in the bad, all universe and your spirit team wants to do is tell you about all the goods that's to come. But if you they told you that and if you knew that, then you would never feel bad because you'd be hopeful and and you would be looking forward to the future. And that that's a very good point. We have to be hopeful and we have to look forward to the future. But two, it's okay to have times when you're not hopeful and you're not hopeful for the future or what's to come because it's in those times that are very, very important, right? It would sound weird. It sounds weird me saying that, like, no, you need to feel hopeless at points but you do because a miracle only exists as a miracle because it's something that you wouldn't believe could happen and if you're not going to believe something could happen it must have been because you've had to lose hope for it in the first place right so you can't have a miracle um or it's unexpected miracles are either unexpected or they aren't expected because you couldn't believe that they could be could be true or you you know you you could believe but maybe a part of yourself didn't really ever think you get there or expect it and that part that part that makes it a miracle that is the hopeless part of your journey so yeah i hope that that i really hope that that made sense yeah it's like you can't have a miracle you can't have your blessings and then feel unbelievably unimaginably amazing if we haven't experienced the opposite um and you're coming out of that now. You've been, you've done so much work throughout this journey. I'm seeing you're getting offers come to you now. Getting love offers. You're getting friendship offers. You're getting work offers. You're getting inspiration. You're getting some of you have oh some of you are very poetic or music kind of orientated, and you're getting inspiration for like new music, uh, new sounds or new uh, lyrics or new poetry or new. Uh, material to write or new inspiration for stories there's like this very imaginative energy that's coming through there yeah some of you are really taking action on your hobbies and your business passions and things like that look really taking care of that growing and nurturing what you're growing and it feels like there's a sudden rush to do that as well almost as if it's going to happen like like you get a burst of motivation a burst of energy a burst of inspiration and it makes you put like a lot of energy towards something and so it's going to grow quickly whether that's you get loads built up at once like i could have a sudden urge to now if i draw art every day i could just draw one piece but if i got a sudden urge of loads of ideas i might just go and draw like five all at once because i've got them all there and that's what it's like it's like you're going to get a sudden urge or a rush to do something and this could be putting action into, yeah, literally, this could be putting action into a business venture, a hobby, a passion, or this could be, um, yeah, 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 you're just putting a lot of work, a lot of fast moving motion into something, and it's rebirthing you into this new phase, a lot of determination, a lot of motivation, a lot of this energy, independence, financial independence, right? setting boundaries, focusing on what's important for you and not letting anyone cross that line. Like you're very protective of your dreams, your goals, your ideas, what you've got going. And and that spirit to say that spirit saying that as well. They're saying protect your dreams, protect your goals. Never let anybody, anybody around you put your dreams down, put your ideas down, put your goals down. Because just because they can't see that for you in the future or just because they don't see that as a good idea doesn't mean that it is. They're just one person. That's just their opinion. And also, I know this sounds a bit harsh, but never take life advice from someone that you don't even like their life. Like if you don't want to live, if if you if their life wouldn't make you happy, why would you take advice of someone, you know, because they clearly live off their advice. And if that's how 
their life is, you know, make your own up, make your own advice, follow your own passions. You know what you've got going for you. And there'll be people, I don't know why this is coming through, but someone needs to hear it. There'll be people that get jealous of you or don't want you to do something. Like say, if you're starting an idea, oh, I wanna play a new instrument. And someone could like put you down about it straight away, not put you down. They wouldn't upfront say to you like, no, you can't do that. They would just be like, oh really? Like if anyone tries to make you feel uncomfortable about something, it's because they're jealous. It's because they don't have the drive to start something in their own life or they don't feel like they have anything that they can do, you know? Um, so that's coming through for a specific message for someone. Just remember you guys, remember you are this independence, you are these ideas, this inspiration, this motivation, this love that's coming in, these friendships, right? They're gonna support you, they're gonna be lifting you up, they're gonna be encouraging you. You can have deep conversations with these people that are moving in for you, these friends, these love connections, these offers, like people are gonna admire you and they like what you do, they support what you do. They have seen you rise through this journey and become such a strong independent person. And that's a very hard thing to do because you've rose up through so much, especially mental challenge. You have fought away your inner demons and you have come out on the other side. And even if you're not on the other side yet, or even if you're still fighting those mental demons, right? Or even if you come up on the other side and you just feel like, well, what do I do now? Right? <laughs> well, what do I do now? Look at what's waiting around the corner for you. There's unexpected things around the corner for you. Whatever situation you are resonating with now, there's things that you don't see coming that are going to completely change your situation, especially if you feel stuck or stagnant in any type of way. Look at this. Look at what is around the corner. A full cup, a full cup of energy, love, enthusiasm, motivation, inspiration, ideas, clarity that will light your heart up. All right. So you don't have to feel like this. Even if this is a person, you guys, coming in, like, absolutely lighting your life up. Um, yeah, yeah, really lighting your life up or something like that. Or if this is you starting to research or do something new, make something new, create something new. Um, yeah, you guys, honestly, I'm sending you a lot of love. I really hope you enjoyed this message because you are the magicians. You have so much going for you. And remember... Nobody sees how far you have to go. They see how far you have the potential to go. Nobody on the outside sees you for how you see yourself. They see you for everything you could be, right? Sometimes we see ourselves for everything that we are, but everyone else around you sees you for everything that you could be. That's why some people get triggered sometimes, and that's why some people will be your biggest fans, your biggest supporters, your biggest motivators, because those people that can see your inner potential, those people who encourage you to do what you love, those people who encourage you to try things because they can see, you know, your special qualities and you and value you as a person, hold those people so close because those are the ones that will stick with you, will stay by your side all the way through this journey, all the way um, and speak truth to you when you feel doubtful, you know, these, these trusty friends, these trusty inner circle, these trusty relationships, that is what is happening. That's what you'll be surrounded by is support, is oh, I'm getting a song come in my head. Oh my God, wait, I'm going because I'm going to get emotional. Before we get fully into this channeling of this person, this uh, friendship, this connection, this person who admires you, loves you, whoever this is to you, um, for a few people, I don't know if it's a specific person that I'm picking up who's watching this, I'm getting this energy of where you could have been having this feeling we're speaking about recently, this lingering in the background, but it could be when you've been out recently or, or I'm, I'm tapping into someone's energy who's been out and about or in a social situation or in some, some kind of loudness, there could have been music or you could have been out actually having drinks or something uh you could have been out having a meal it just feels like you were out in a social situation and you found yourself because of this lingering energy in the background kind of feeling like you need to just be by yourself or you need to kind of be around less people or kind of slip off to the side for a couple moments like you may have been feeling more reflective and it's I'm not sure if it's anything in particular that you're reflecting upon and this is what's leading to this important point that this could be a mix of both your energy 
and someone who we're about to channel and tap into. Now, if this isn't romantic, if this is a friendship to you guys, this could be that um, two timelines. You guys are picking up on collective energy right now. You've been pick picking up on collectively um, the waves of energy we've been going through. And so you could find yourself in this energy recently, not quite knowing why, because maybe you can't tie it to anything that you're feeling. So that could be for some of you. And then for others of you, there's a friend who, if this is a friend of yours, they could be going through something right now where they're having heavy waves of emotion, especially if you are very closely connected to this person, you could be picking up on their energy. And um, also, sorry you guys, <laughs> I'm a bit out of breath right now, I had to quickly run downstairs. <laughs> but this could also be a love situation, right? Maybe you're, someone's been projecting energy onto you they could really miss you or you're in separation with somebody. You're picking up on other people's energy as well as dealing with the shifts going on in your life. So <laughs> yeah, so that was for someone who's kind of feeling that way right now or been in that situation. So whichever timeline you are resonating with in that past section, whether this is you picking up collective energy and I say this can be and or or all of them. So this could be all of them for you, or it could be a uh, collective energy, or it could be a friend who you're very, very, very close with, or who loves you very deeply, um, but they're going through some heavy waves. Or this could also be uh, a love situation, or a situationship, or a connection that they have been projecting thought energy, projecting emotions towards you, and it might actually be of the lower vibrational end, so more of a sad or pining, pining type of energy is what I get, or kind of like a disappointment or um, a missing or a longing. So whoever you resonated with in this section, this is who we're going to be channeling next in this part of the video now. No, I'm picking up on someone's energy around you who, oh, they just, they love you so deeply. They just think you're the most amazing person in the whole world. They just, they love you so much. They see all of your potential. They always see everything you're to become and, and they see everything that you are. And it's not that they can't see everything that you are and not see everything to become. They love you for who you are and, and they love your inner light and and sometimes they wish that you could see yourself in the way that they see you right sometimes this family member or this loved one they just they just uh, they're telling me you don't even know how special you are you guys sometimes not all the time right but when you go for these waves that's this person who wants to if you're ever feeling down it would be this person who would come and be with you or who would um be by your side in a battle like they would fight for you they would have your back like this is a really trustworthy beautiful person who <clears throat> you could have even worked with at some point or uh they've been yeah they're very generous you could have shared something like you always help each other out maybe with money or just little things <clears throat> like you're like going out and you're like, oh, I'll buy you a coffee this time, don't worry about it. And then they, it's like a very uh, mutual give and take relationship, very balanced, very caring, very generous, very thoughtful. Um, <laughs> but it's basically them saying that they will always be by your side, that to hold on to these people because they, they, they see you as successful already, right? If you have a hobby or something, if they see something that you do, they already see you as successful, is what this is. Even if you don't do anything, it's like this person sees you successful, even just for the the potential they know you have. Like if you say, oh, you know, I've never actually posted it or put anything out there, but when I was younger, I used to do this, you know, and they're like, oh my God, I know one day you're going to be this, you're going to be that. You know, like these people who dream for you, who dream with you, these people who dream with you, even if you, it's just for jokes and you're like, oh, we could do a business one day like this, or we should do a business like this. Like, There's some really dreamers who are going to support you and who do support you. And this person so close to you loves you so deeply. So I hope that resonated for whoever that came through. Um, and the song was Lifeline. It's more of like a drum and bassy kind of 
song. It's not really drum and bass. I don't know what you would class it as, but the lyrics are very important and they're saying you are their lifeline or they will be the lifeline for you. Also reminding me of that thing that says your heart, your journey is a beating heart. <sighs> Where do I start? Your journey is a beating heart. You left your mark. Oh, there's another song coming through right from the start. Right from the start, you left your mark on my heart. So it's so, that I'm hearing something like that. I'm not sure what song that is, but I keep hearing right from the start, you left your mark upon my heart or on my heart from the very start. From the very start, you hold my heart. You have my heart. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Thanks for listening to my, <laughs> when I just randomly ramble on like that, you guys. Um, right from the very start, it keeps coming through. It's like really bugging me now. Is it, maybe it's going to bug you guys, but I don't know if I can't think of it. I'll try find it after when I'm editing. Right from the very start. Uh -huh. Anyway, that will only resonate with some of you, but this Lifeline song, that's for all of you. That's, that's, that, that's the song to build strength, to remind you of how deeply those people around you love you, right? How deeply they see you as a strong, independent person. How deeply they see your inner strength. That those people who've seen you and who know about things that other people wouldn't know about. They've seen you rise from your battles. They know what you go through. They know what you feel. They know you want a deeper level. And they're so proud of you. And that means more than anything. Because when someone's proud of you and they know you for actually who you are, that means the world, right? Because someone can quite easily look into someone's life and be like, Oh yeah, this is a so call. Cool. You should be so proud of it. But when someone deeply knows you, you know that it's so like, I'm not saying we should disregard other people's opinion, but when someone deeply knows you and they are so proud of you, it just goes to show you guys that how much of an amazing person that you are, because, you know, someone that knows you like that, they, they see you as amazing. They, they know the things that you've been through, yet they see your strength. No one ever, this person never sees you for what you've been through. They see you as how you rise back up. They see you for the person who you are today. They see you for your resilience. They see you for your strength. They see you for your courage. They see you for your bravery. They see you for your positivity. They see you for your vulnerability. They see you for your gentleness, your openness, your openness to be vulnerable, to express, to just be yourself, to be authentic, you know? Um... <laughs> so yeah this person is someone that would support you in good decisions or bad they don't care they got your back so i love you all very much i'll speak to you very soon my angels